Hello, comic book guys and gals, and welcome to Comic Mag Musings. This Hands and Devils, your host, Bill Miller. All right, this is a continuation, the second part, if you will, of one of our unboxings. First part we did raw comics. This will be graded comics from my comic shop. So, I went through the process of getting them prepped to, to open, because they're each in these containers. But, I did not open them, so I still haven't seen them. That way, it will be a surprise to both of us, to all of us, to each of us. I will try to do so in a way so as to show you, so you rascals and rascalettes get to see it before I do. All right, let's get started with this first one. We have five books total. So if I recall, they include them in bubble wrap nowadays. All right, and here is the first one. Oh boy, look at that beauty. Another pre-code horror comic book. Absolutely love it. Let's take it out of there so we can see. This is Mystery Tales number 18, Atlas Comics, March of 1954. Gene Colan, Dick Ayers, Werner Roth, Vince Coletta, and Tony DePreta art. This is a CGC 4.0 with off-white to white pages. I don't think good things are in store for that gentleman. And on the back, boys, girls, ladies, men, given we give you cash or premiums. So I'm not sure what you've got to be slinging. But I am sure that those are some pretty cool prizes. So Mystery Tales issue number 18. All right, a fantastic way to get started. Here's the next one. Oh, here's the box. All right, and here we go. Oh boy, fantastic. You better believe we collect Tomb of Dracula. This is Tomb of Dracula number 19, Marvel Comics, April of 1974. Marv Wolfman story, Gene Colan and Tom Palmer art, Gil Kane and Tom Palmer cover. Blade appearance. This is a CGC 9.6 with white pages. We've been after this one for a bit. But never quite at the right price. And on the back, we have a coupon for LaSalle Extension. University. So, you're awake, Dracula, but you've awakened too late. Too late to stop this wooden stake from plunging into your heart. The suspense shocker of the year, Snowbound in Hell. That was a great read, too. So, Tomb of Dracula, issue number 19. All right. Three more. Are you ready? Let's do this thing. Boom. Oh, boy. We've got ourselves a Conan. I think it goes without saying that we collect this. This is Conan the Barbarian, number 13. Marvel Comics, January of 1972. Barry Windsor Smith, cover and art. 
And this is a CGC 9.4 with cream to off-white pages. And that is the old school label. On the old label, they would put the corresponding text grade next to the number grade. They don't do that anymore. Obviously, there are a bunch of other changes, right? The numbers by itself, it's much bigger. On the back, we have Sizzler's Fat Track. So it's a slot car racing track. Web of the Spider God, Conan the Barbarian, issue number 13. So we certainly collect Conan and we're very excited about that one. All right, two more. And here we go. Boom. Oh boy. We've got another Tomb of Dracula. Fantastic. This is Tomb of Dracula number 11. Marvel Comics, August of 1973. Marv Wolfman story, Gene Colan and Jack Abel art. Gene Colan and Tom Palmer cover. This is a CGC 9.2 with white pages. Says, don't let this place give you the creeps, baby. I tell you, there's no such thing as vampires. Oh, but I think there might be. The Master of the Undead strikes again. And on the back, you needn't ask, because this fella's smiling after this bounty of wonderful comics. So Tomb of Dracula, issue number 11. All right, and we've got one more. So let's crack this baby open and see what we've got. And one, two, three, here it is. Oh boy. Another PCH book. One of my favorite titles, Web of Mystery. This is Web of Mystery number five, Ace Periodicals, October of 1951. Lynn Streeter, Ken Rice, Martin Rose, and Jim McLaughlin art. This is a CGC 4.5 with white pages. For Golden Age, 4.5 is kind of my sweet spot. Says, what? A Cro-Magnon man? What horror have I brought into being with my new secret potion? And on the back, you can reduce your appearance with a slimming girdle, it seems. So, Web of Mystery, issue number five. And that will do it for our mystery unboxing. I hope you enjoyed seeing them. And if you did, I would encourage you to subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted as soon as I, re as soon as I produce new videos. Thumbs up and comments are always appreciated. And remember, we're taking over the world one comic book at a time.